Welcome back to Restored by Allie. In this video, we are going to redo this desk that we found on Facebook Marketplace for $10. You see here, I'm stripping the top and I'm going to strip it like two or three times because there's a, multiple layers of paint on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down and then stain it. I'm using a circular sander with 60 grit sandpaper on it and then I tried out doing a hundred sandpaper as well and the stain that was on this wood took a lot of sanding so it took me a while to get this off. Now we get to start staining and the stain that I used was called mahogany and I actually didn't wipe this one off as much as I usually do so I put a lot on and just lightly wiped this one off. Okay, as Evo and I scuff sand this desk, you can see that it's prepped for a paint sprayer. And this video is a collaboration with a company called Tulint. They sent me a paint sprayer to review and show you guys how I used it. And so this portion of the video is all about just this paint sprayer and I'll tell you all the ins and outs of it. So I had my dad and Evo help me with this because I've never used a paint sprayer before. My dad has a lot and Evo has kind of had some experience with it. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to see all of our opinions on it. So this paint sprayer that I received features a quick start guide and a troubleshooting manual. It was such an easy setup and easy cleanup that my, even my dad, who has used many paint sprayers before, um, has said this is the best one that he's used and it was the easiest one to clean. This paint sprayer is their M1 model. It's equipped with a 12 inch extension tip, 25 foot hose, and 515 airless sprayer tip. So this is valued at $300 off the Tulent website. And something that's comparable that is at Home Depot would be around $625. So it's definitely a good deal and you're getting a great product.
here you're going to see us start cleaning out the hoses, the nozzle, and the machine itself. And there's two different ways you can do it. We did it where we connected a hose and it didn't take very long for us to clean out the entire machine, which was great. And this was a whole new experience for me because I've never done this before. But my dad says it's usually a lot harder to clean off everything and clean out the hoses. And that this way that we did it by hooking up the hose was actually extremely easy and it went really well and pretty fast. And again, it was super easy. All we did was follow the instructions that were included in the package. They were super easy to understand and the whole process was really nice and smooth. I put a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted me to paint the drawers gray that match the bottom or stain the drawers to match the top and mostly everyone wanted me to stain them so I went ahead, stripped them down, sanded them, and then stained them.
To make sure that the handles look like they went with the desk, I decided to paint them gray to match the base of the desk. And here is the completed desk. Okay, so you guys just saw the final product of the desk it's sitting over there um, and I already sold it so I didn't even get to put it up on Facebook marketplace and it's been sold for a hundred dollars awesome oh and thank you for watching hope you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time